Whoops. I almost let it uh, pick for me. The monk. Um, random. I think I'll do neutral. I'm definitely not doing lawful. And let's start the game. Man, it feels like... I know I just finished the game. Maybe it just feels like it's been a while since I started a game fresh. This is exciting. Hopefully my pet doesn't die six turns in like it did last time. Well, here we go. I'm gonna be following my pet. Oh, thank you, Dat Boy. I appreciate the uh, the good luck wishes. I'm gonna be really conservative about this chest. Just because it's so early in the game. Right, I'll loot that. Rolling a gem? Why not? Uh, what did I start with? A spell book of healing, some healing potions, some food, typical monk stuff. How many times do you normally need to check a chest for traps? Well, you can do it as many times as you want for free. Um, you, you don't risk setting off the, the trap um, until you actually attempt to disarm it. I've been meaning to build a calculator. Maybe I'll do that this weekend, just so, I don't know, maybe people playing June NetHack for the first time or something can try it. Um, to do the statistics for like a confidence interval. So you can say, oh, I need to check this eight times, be 95% confident. Um, but the formula is based on your dexterity and oddly enough, the de dungeon level. So you can actually like take a chest downstairs and it'll improve your chances of um, detecting traps. Um, but since I have 14 HP, and I don't know, it's just so early, like a trap could be like really bad for me. I just wanted to be very careful. Um, I think I watched Teriru check a chest for traps like 29 times once <laughs> early on in the game. Um, that's the guy that had the level, um, or the, the 61 game Ascension streak. Um, and many would regard him as the, the best player in the world at the moment. Monks have a pretty easy early game. I'm gonna get my pet to follow here. Got a few monsters here. I want, I want to get my pet out here because I'm afraid of walking around on the, the floor. Well, you know what? I have 14 hit points, so I think I can survive any trap I might run into. So maybe I don't need to be that conservative. Um, any trap will run into on this floor at least. You have yet to ascend? Yeah, a lot of people um, spend a long time. I mean, if you have any questions about the game, let me know. Oh wait, this is supposed to be a trap. That's a new feature in 361. Sometimes you find corpses on traps. I should have known that. But I've ne that's the first time I've actually seen it despite playing two 361 games, so that's interesting. Felt really, I, I realized what was happening like the second I like walked onto that. <clears throat> I should have just like avoided it altogether. So I think the most dangerous trap you can get on level 1 is a falling rock trap, which does 2d6 damage or d12. In any case, it can't kill me outright. Starting on level 2, I believe you can see rolling rock traps, which will do d20 damage, so we'll have to be more careful there. Is dying in the tournament bad? No, not at all. It's actually encouraged in some ways. There's a unique deaths trophy for the, the clan that gets the most unique deaths. 
Which means you have to die in different creative ways. Oh, the newt was in a... A trap? I don't know why that newt wasn't uh, moving. I do have technically an ascension streak on the line, so I guess that's one reason for me to be conservative. I don't know, I've just been practicing like a no death playstyle. So I'm I'm doing like new conservative things. Because if you want to get like a long ascension streak, you have to be very careful like early on in the game. Um, I don't always play like that, but I'm slowly like adapting that into my playstyle, I guess. Monks are pretty damn good at combat early on though, so I shouldn't have trouble at least early on. Better start farming up some deaths. Uh, hopefully not this game. Maybe I'll do that later. I'm gonna try and do a bunch of conducts. So I might do vegan, vegetarian, no weapon, no genocide, no polymorph item, no polymorph self, no wishes and no artifact wishes is I think what I'm gonna attempt. Oh, an atheist, I'll, I wanna do atheist as well. So that would be nine conducts. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not much of a conduct player typically. I just did a wishless wizard and I had fun. So I figured I'd try something else. You found four bag of holdings? My wishless wizard game? I didn't find one the entire game. And that's the first time I've ever done the entire uh, game without one. And I, I, didn't, I don't know how I survived because I'm usually so reliant on them. I'm gonna go downstairs. There might be a room in the top right, but I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, you didn't have bags of holding with your wizard either? Way to go. So now I think a rolling boulder trap could kill me, but I would see the boulder usually. Ooh, a whistle. So this is just a tin whistle because it's a high whistling sound instead of a strange one. So I will denote it as such. Plane whistles are still supposed to make your pets follow a little closer. Although I've had a, a variant developer tell me that isn't the case, even though it's like intended to be that way. So I don't, I don't know if that's actually true or not. Um, that figurine's not going to be useful to me, so I'm just going to let it sit there. They've improved how well a pet follows you in three six zero or three six one two, so my pet should do pretty well. At following me. I'm gonna go find my pet and have him curse test this um this helmet. Probably curse because he won't walk on it. Yeah, I feel like he would have stepped on it by now. You don't know for sure unless he actually walks onto it, but I'm not gonna wait because they they won't they'll avoid it as much as they can. Feel like the tin whistle does nothing for pets i feel like it does something but maybe it looks like a placebo when i've used it in the past it's always good to poke your head downstairs 
um, for a couple of reasons. I like to see if there's any like items in the room. And also, if you fall down like a trap door and you land on that level, you'll know where the upstairs is, which is nice. Interesting. Okay, so this is a closet, which is a special type of room that is guaranteed to be a, a scroll of teleport. You don't see that very often. That's this is an instructional moment, guys. Which one was it? The lore Mipsum? I'm just going to call it closet just because I'm paranoid and I don't know 100% for sure that it's teleport but i don't know what else it could be how do you know it was a closet um basically because it had that scroll in it so closets are one like these are closets they're one um tile rooms that surround or like spaces that surround a room and usually they have doors or iron bars or something but sometimes they don't have anything so if a closet isn't generated with a door it always has a scroll of teleport inside of it in case you like fall into it from a floor above or if um, you get teleported into it. So that scroll is your way out of there. Um, and just because of the way levels are generated, you can end up with a closet adjacent to a corridor. So that's what happened here. This corridor just happened to go by that closet. But that closet was generated with a scroll in it so you can escape because it has no door. Um, and scrolls don't generate in corridors normally. Like you'd have to kill a monster to see one. So if you see... A scroll and a little nook like that and you didn't kill a monster to like to have it drop it you you know that it's a scroll of teleportation so that's nice because now we know i have an escape item here oh i have an altar um i'm doing i want to do atheist so i guess i'll just not touch that i almost instinctively dropped everything on it hey son gniff how's it going man Let me go find my pet. Or actually, there should be another room here. Maybe. Okay, I can't find any... Hmm. Is there a secret door over here? Oh, let me kill this kobold. Nice. I was hoping I'd level up soon. So... We only have 11 constitution. I only got 3 max HP from that, which is unfortunate. I'm kind of searching this wall here. Okay, maybe there's no rooms down there. This one just goes up here. I think it's basically a dead end. I don't think there's enough room for another one. You feel tough. You've been leading a healthy lifestyle. Too bad I, I didn't get that right before I leveled up. Huh, maybe I should have waited. The first time it checks your stats to see if you can improve them is turn 600. I almost wonder if it's like almost op... Well, I guess it wouldn't be optimal to wait um, to do that before leveling up. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to eat... Oh wait, no, I can't eat these corpses. Because I want to play vegan. Oh my god, it's going to be hard maintaining these conducts when all my instincts tell me to do shit that I can't do. I didn't eat anything yet, right? You've gone without food, okay. I almost like ate a new corpse earlier. Like, I probably would have instinctively if it dropped one. We're going to have to be careful, guys, if I want to actually maintain some conducts. Alright, I want to actually get my pet to follow me. Oh, here we go. I thought he was gonna eat those corpses or something. What is this? Oh, that just goes up there. Come on, Dago. Oh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. All right, let's go down. I should. Hmm, I should probably curse test everything. I'm not gonna waste too much time doing that right now. Oh, 
I'll curse test things later. Oh, so there's a shop in here. Which is nice. This probably isn't the store. Yeah, because if it was and it's closed, it would say closed for inventory out front. So I'm just going to kick this door down. Monks are really good at the early game. Oh, a bones file. Skunks. Interesting. You want to look up how he died? Okay, the large cat's peaceful. That's good, because that thing would probably kick my ass. He's playing right now. Oh, he only has four games? Well, I don't see a rabid rat. So this must have been tumbling down the flight of stairs? Oh, is he on the stairs? He is. Interesting. I'm actually going to tame this cat because a large cat is a pretty strong pet. I have only have a puppy upstairs. Um, and I can actually tame him with this these fortune cookies, which I don't think fortune cookies are vegan. Maybe they are. But so let me throw a fortune cookie at him to tame him. They treat them as treats. So my large cat is... Uh, or that his large cat is now tame. And you want to name it after skunks in his honor? Whoops. What did I just try doing? Name monster. There we go. Is that how he spelt it? Skunks. Yep. Skunks Jr. How about that? And then I gotta kill this this ghost. Tumbling downstairs, yeah. Um, that's what happens when you um, if you go downstairs while burdened, you'll take some damage. So ghosts are pretty hard to hit, but if you kick them, you you have a better chance of hitting them. So that's why I kicked him. And I'm a monk, so I actually have a staggered, a staggering blow ability. So he actually like not got knocked backwards. So oh my god, Skunks Jr. just ate his owner's corpse. Oh, that's so dark. Oh, what do we have here? So this was the rogue. Now we can be a little cheap here and actually look at what he had. If we wanted. I assume there's a dump log here. So I know he has a scroll of enchant armor and food detection and stuff, so we can we can cheat around like that if we want to. Um Which I think I'm going to just uh to maximize my my success chances here. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. And pretty much everything here is going to be cursed. Well, there's an 80% chance everything is cursed. Man. A stack of daggers like this would be pretty nice if monks could get even basic in them. The only ranged items that monks can use, really, are shuriken and crossbows. Um, I can't use body armor right now. That helm is minus one in curse, I'm not going to touch that. So, I mean, this isn't a fantastic bones file, but... It is what it is. Oh! Rogues do start with a sack, so that's kind of a nice thing to find. And he has a lockpick. Very nice. Oh yes, express to I forget to curse. What's the effect of a curse lockpick? pick? 
Cursed tools only have half the chance of unlocking. Okay, I knew it did something like that. And then... Grab these gems. Oh, these gems didn't stack, probably because one's cursed. Yeah, I'm gonna shamelessly identify this guy's loot using the dump log. But those are all glass, like I figured they would be. She's just worthless. Gemstones. You can even call them gems. Real City Drop, um, this Abra and the Co Bait. What is that? Either Enchant Armor. I actually haven't used a, a, a dump log to, to cheap out on a, a bones file in a while. Because they were broken on NAO for so long. <laughs> Dude, where'd this guy get all these spell books? Monks can actually get basic in every school, which is interesting. Every uh, spellcasting school. They're the only class other than wizards that can do that. And this is uh, inventory management. So what NetHack's all about. In a way. I mean, what else did I have? Some potions here. Uh oh, I don't remember which potions were new. Sky blue, emerald, and black. Yep. So this combined with that shop, I should be able to narrow some of these down pretty good. Notable, right? Credit card, first sack, tin whistle, <clears throat> plus one leather. Too bad I can't use that. And these weapons are enchanted or anything. <coughs> I'll take the gold. Um, did he have his message log? I'm just kind of curious. He's hallucinating. Um, so we probably have no idea what was going on here. The lungfish bites. The staircase up here, you climb the stairs. Boron, bi <laughs> Boron bites. You fall down the stairs, you die. So yeah, that's how you tumble down the stairs. That was fun. Well, 
Let's um head back upstairs for a moment. Cool, we just got poison resistance, which is uh really important early on if you wanna Poison sucks because there's a chance of insta death, so it's a it's a good thing to have if you don't wanna die. See, I need to wait for this cat to start eating. I wanna bring him back up with me. There we go. Um, let's find that shop. Did he kill the, the fox? Yeah, I didn't even see the message. I should eat something. Um, I will eat a food ration, which is vegan. So I just lost food list, which I was never going to keep um, to begin with. And I, I maintain vegan. Where'd the poison resistance come from? Monks get poison resistance at level 3 automatically. Um, monks pre pretty much get every um, elemental resistance as an intrinsic as they level up. Every like two levels basically. Um, which makes some great choices to go with vegan and vegetarian conducts because usually you get resistances from corpses. Um, so that makes it hard to get a lot of them if you're doing any of the, the food conducts or the diet ones. So um, that's one of the reasons I'm doing a monk. I've done a few seven conduct monks before just because it's really easy to, to do like weaponless and then like vegan. I mean, it doesn't make them like easy, easy, but a lot easier than any other class, pretty much. I want to find this shop. I'm kind of curious what's in there. I have a grave. Um, okay, so this is the stairs to the mines. Ooh, and it's a dark mines level. That's annoying. Let's see, I should have passed enough turns to pray. I wonder if I can do the max HP trick. Oh wait, I can't pray, because I'm going to be an atheist. Guys, this is going to be hard. I am my own worst enemy right now, as far as maintaining these conducts goes. I I'm going to ruin one of these so bad. <laughs> Um, wow, this guy dropped a lot of stuff. I'm not going to use the dagger, the two-handed sword, but I want, I kind of want to pick them up just so another monster doesn't use them. Maybe I'll sell them to the shopkeeper once I find him. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? I see that shop must be up here. It looks like a potion. A liquor emporium. So those two black brackets are mimics. Right away we know that. that that's a symbol that only mimics have. And it just says, it's funny, it actually it says mimic or strange object. There's no such thing as a strange object, so we know what that is. But they can also mimic real things, so I'm going to be throwing coins down these rows because they'll hit a mimic and reveal it. They're hiding there. And it, it acts the same as dropping money, which just gives you like credit to use in the store. So like, there's no downside to like throwing money. Okay, so the only mimics are those two. I don't really want to fight them right now, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Although they give good experience and they're pretty easy to kill, they can they can hit pretty hard. If I got like unlucky, eh. I could probably level up off of them though. We'll see. Let me just see what all these potions are first. 
I gotta turn on my... Oh, you don't auto pick up items in shops anymore if they're unpaid. It's kind of annoying actually because I like to just walk around picking everything up. I guess I'll have to do it manually. So let's price ID these potions. My charisma is nine. I think that puts me in the plus 30% price bracket. As far as shop prices go. Yeah, times 1.33. So. Brown potion that costs 333. Gonna be 250. And I'm basically trying to figure out what the base prices of all these items are, which narrows down like what they can be. Um, price identification is a really strong um, strategy in this game. Oh, whoops. Black potion, it's gonna be 150. Which probably will tell us what that is. So it's gain energy. Because we already know it's either gain energy, um, sickness, or confusion. But in this 150 bracket, gain energy is the only one of those three, so we, we know what that is already. Gain energy is pretty nice for alchemy. And I actually have two of them now, so that is good to know. So emerald, that's base price 50, so that's going to be sickness. So we already know this other one that I found on that bones pile is a potion of confusion. And then we just have these white potions, so 89 should be 50 again, right? Just got modified twice, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna drop everything that is. Oh, why did it pull everything up? Oh, I'm gonna do all unpaid items. Cause I don't feel like buying any of those. And let's. Go over here and pick up the rest of these potions. Oh, that's an expensive one. So let's identify the rest of these. Um, bubbly, 133. And that clear potion is just plain old uncursed water. Um, what else do we have? Orange. Is that everything? Oh, the yellow, the expensive one. It's a big old 300 potion. All right, I'm satisfied with that for now. Let me just shut that door.
Actually, will Overview already tell me that's a potion shop? It does, so I don't even need to call this a potion shop. There we go. You hear some noises in the distance. That just means one of my pets is fighting something. Oh, a homunculus. Um, I start with sleep resistance. Um, they have like a sleep attack, so. Not too concerned there. All right, we're gonna come back down here. I need to get both of these pets down though. I could honestly trade out the little dog for the cat. But having two pets, it's not a bad thing. I could find the other one. I might want to go to Sokovan first to get food. Since I'm going to be playing um, vegan, and it might be hard to get food otherwise. Let cat go. Oops, I just bumped into a green mold. Took some damage from its passive attack. Gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. Oh, here we go. Here, kitty. Oh, come on. It's hard to make them follow in quarter sometimes. Just hope he's following me. There we go. That's what they fixed in 361 as far as pet movement goes. Is pets will follow you all over corridors much better than they used to. Slime molds? Oh, it's because this is a bones level. I was going to say I renamed those. But your fruit name is based on whatever bones file you found. Their food ration. I don't know, I guess we're getting some decent food already. I can live off of food rations and uh, slime molds. Another book here. I'm gonna carry these books up and drop them upstairs. Well, I don't even have to drop them upstairs, but those books are heavy. I definitely don't need to be carrying five books around. Did they change food drop rates in 361 at all? No, I don't think so. Um, one drop rate that they did change, or not drop rate technically, but you'll find less gold in the dungeon. So you might take note of that. Um, but as far as food goes, no, I don't think they changed anything. Oh shit, ants. Ants and bats and anything else that's like small, hard to hit and fast are pretty, pretty deadly monsters early on. I'll take the tin opener. Sling. Crude dagger. More crude daggers. The heck? What happened here? That guy in the bones file must have explored more of this level than I thought. Let's see if any of these orcish helms are cursed. I wouldn't mind a helmet. Uh, 
Hello, kitty. That one's not cursed. No, there's that one. Cop. I'm trying them all on in case one of them is enchanted. Like that one, plus one uh, Orcish Helm. Very nice. And I will drop the rest of them. And I actually... Okay, I don't know which one of these scrolls is enchant armor yet. I wouldn't mind using that enchant armor right away, because it might be a while before I can enchant it, and... Like, every single point of AC can make a big difference. Um, for the first 10, especially. I'm not, I'm not opposed to, to using an uncursed scroll of enchant armor and enchant weapon early on. But yeah, that's... Uh, plus one Orcish is pretty nice right now, I think. I'm pretty happy I found that. Hey, what's up, Rink? The annual June NetHack tournament um, started less than an hour ago, so we are partaking. How's your uh, bike doing? You've been riding that? Come here, grid bug. Melon? Mind if I do? This is a falling rock trap. If it's still there, it might not be. I'm gonna take some rocks just in case I want to throw them at things. I don't know, I don't have any other throwing weapons yet. Oh, it's not there yet? For some reason, I assumed you bought it, like, from a shop. Did you buy it online or something? Um, let's keep going down, I guess. I don't really want to do the, the mines in the dark right now. Another cat, where'd she go? Is she on the other side of me? Keeping track of one pet is hard enough. That that message you hear the footsteps of a guard on patrol means there's a vault on the level. Which, I can't tell you the last time I've gone to a vault. Let me just double check that, I guess apples, oranges, melons, all that stuff should be vegan. I feel like the apples and the melon probably have a poor nutrition to weight ratio, so I could eat those. Hundred to five. Actually, those don't sound terrible. Cause what's a food ration? Eight hundred to twenty. That's forty. So yeah. The 40, 40 to 1 nutrition to weight ratio, that's our baseline. So that's 20. What was the apple again? 25. So let's eat the melon. I guess that'll be good for now. I'm still waiting for this dumb cat. I 
Oh my god, where'd it go? There it is. I'm gonna use my whistle. Oh, that's a dark room. I thought it kept running out into the hallway, I just couldn't see it because there's more than one tile from me. Oh shit, a were rat? I had a feeling if I punched it one more time it would die. That was kind of risky though. Guess I could have thrown rocks at it. Hungry again. I said apple wasn't very filling, or that melon. You hear a door open. Uh oh, a giant bat? Nice. Ooh. This could be a very fruitful shop for us. Um, again, I'm going to search for Mimics first. Oh, I didn't mean to search there. It's okay, I can easily kill Mimics right now. And we just join gain stealth as a level up intrinsic. Okay, cool. Um, let's see what we got. Silver arrows, leather armor, ring mail. Let's take the boots. Let's take anything that we might bother with. Although I don't know why I took those gloves because I'm definitely not going to take gloves. I already have, what, plus two gloves, plus one gloves, plus two pair of leather gloves. Monks start with those. I'm not going to take any body armor. Let's see, I need to eat another apple. I probably need to eat all of them, honestly. <laughs> the shopkeeper's like, probably like, stop throwing apple cores on like the floor in here. I'm taking my gold back too. Leather jacket. More leather gloves. Snow boots. Magic boots. Leather cloak. Um, I have a robe, so I won't be wearing that cloak. Another pair of magic boots. If I could find like speed boots or something here, that would be pretty awesome. Iron shoes, leather armor, leather armor, an apron. Apron is a cloak that gives you poison and acid resistance. It's actually an alchemical cloak or alchemical apron. Something like that. Iron shoes. 21. What's the base value of an iron shoe? Sixteen. Okay, that's a normal price then. Alright, so we have a pair of boots that cost snow boots cost thirty. Their fumble or levitation. I fumbled typing that out. Then the other pair is a fifty, right? Yeah, the mud boots. So they're either jumping speed or water walking, which are all pretty um, valuable. I'm a <laughs> I think I was trying to will those into being speed boots. <laughs> I'm just typing that right away. I'm gonna buy those. Well, I wanna see if they're cursed or not first. Honestly, it really doesn't matter if they're cursed. 
Oh, I guess it could be plus two boots. They could be enchanted like lower cost boots, but in all likelihood, they're one of those three, so. I'm gonna drop everything else. Ah, shit. And I'll just have to keep in mind that there might be levitation boots in here because that could become valuable. Too bad I didn't get like anything other, any other fancy stuff here. So let me drop those mud boots. Will this guy buy, he won't buy a weapon, will he? Oh, he will? Yeah, let me get rid of that rune dagger. You can take this two-handed sword. 25 gold, not bad. I'm gonna hold on to those darts. I don't think I owe him anything. Nope. So get in my way, dude. I'm gonna find my pets. I don't mind buying those boots, but I'd like them to first test them for me. Okay, so he walked on them, so I know they're, they're safe. Picked up the cursed boots. Way to go. Damn. I wonder if I can just get them to steal these now that they're the only people in here. He stole the iron shoes. Plus your iron shoes. Oh my god, he's attacking the shopkeeper. <laughs> that ballsy freaking cat. Well, I'm not gonna... Oh no, a, a monster generated in there. He attacked an, a goblin that was generated. That's funny. I'm just gonna sell back these iron shoes. Well, actually, no, don't sell those. Because depending on what these boots are... I might uh, use the iron shoes instead. Let me sell this apron though, because I don't need that. Let me put on the, the mud boots. So these are water walking boots, because I, I didn't speed up and I can't jump. Which is like the worst out of those for me right now. Although they're great for diluting potions and scrolls, so I'm gonna hold on to them. Um, so I guess I will just use those other boots for now because they have better AC. So let me put on the iron shoes. Alright, cool. Um, I'll just go... Eh. So let's work a shaman real quick. Ooh, a floating eye. Um... Okay, I'll kill it with rocks or something. I hope I don't bump into it, because I'll probably die. Oh, I can't eat a floating eye if I want to be a vegan. I'm telling you guys, I'm going to break one of these conducts. Getting a lot of darts. So that, uh, that shop was a little disappointing. I just want to mark that there might be levitation boots in there. Just in case I need them later. The 
let's eat our last apple. Slime mold should be vegan, right? They are, so I'll eat those next because they're what? 250 to five weight ratio? Hey, that ain't bad. They're better than food rations actually. So conducts are basically challenges, right? Wishlist and such like that. Yep, that is exactly what they are, Icebox. They are voluntary challenges that are tracked. So I'm going to go for like a nine conduct monk, I think, just for the heck of it. I've never done that many. Um, but right now, it, it's easy to... Is nine the max? No, there's there's more than nine. I think there's probably 12 base ones. And then there's also Zen and Nudist, which you have to set in your um, your config file before you start the game. Because Zen, it means you start with the blindfold, you can't take off, so you basically play the whole game blind. And then um, Nudist means you start with no armor, equipped, so you, you play nude. Um, but nine is not the max. I'm not doing illiterate. I'm not doing foodless and I'm not doing uh, pacifist. But I'm going to attempt everything else right now and see how it goes. Um, can you equip armor later as a nudist? Um, I don't know if it'll let you equip armor, but if you do, you'd break the nudist conduct. How would foodless work? Uh, there's a few ways to go about it. Um, usually Usually you need to start scum a little bit for like the perfect scenario. Um, if you polymorph, sometimes it replenishes your your nutrition. If So that's one way to do it. You can drink fruit juice, which will replenish your nutrition very, very, very slightly. But that's another way to do it. Because there's an item called the Horn of Plenty, which generates food and fruit juice. Um, so if you keep charging that, which you can do if you have the Taurus Quest Artifact, you can like basically live off of that. Um, there's rings of slow digestion, which are pretty important. They they slow down your nutrition use rate. So you can do that, you can pray for food. So those are probably all the, the most common ways to do foodless. It's definitely not an easy one to do. If you have a ring of slow digestion and you use every prayer on food, um, you'll, you'll never go hungry. So that's probably like the easiest way to do it, if you can find the ring to begin with. Um, did I open this yet? No. So I can... I do have a lockpick. Um, a scroll of Confused Monster and a cloth spellbook. I have... Is there anything in the bag? Bag is empty. Whoops. I assume that's a sack because I got it from a, a rogue. And a rogue bones and rogues start with sacks. Be a dead end, or I'm just too dumb to find the secret passage. Green mold. What is their passive? Is it acid? Yeah. I'm gonna throw my rocks at it that I picked up a while ago. Nice. Take that green mold. Um, they have a passive attack, so if you attack them in melee, you take damage. It also corrode your weapons if I had an iron weapon, because it's an acid attack.
What are the goals for June NetHack? Um, since I historically in tournaments haven't played that often, I'd like to ascend five games. Um, outside of that, I don't really know. I'd like to try and tackle the NetHack 3.6.1 leaderboards. Although June NetHack um, is clan based. And the leaderboards for individual players don't really help your clan, and most people are going for clan wins. So I don't know how competitive it's going to be. I might switch to clan stuff if it's not not looking that competitive. But but yeah, so I might go for conducts with this one. Although Webman from my clan is really good at doing conducts, and if I even if I manage nine here, he might go ahead and do ten and not do me. Conducts are his thing. Um, but I'm just doing this for funsies. Um, I might try for a, a real turn speed ascension, which I've done before at about 12,000 turns, 12 to 14, pretty consistently. But like, if you, I kind of just brute force it by picking an easy class and just like pushing through the game. But if you like really want to do a speed ascension, you can do it in like under like 8,000 turns. So I might try to attempt something like that, which might require some start scumming. This is a bugbear, yeah. So maybe that'll be something I do. I mean, just ascending and like having a good ascension streak would be nice. We'll see, I'll play it as we go, but um, I just wanna play, play net hack and have fun. I just like how like, Everyone in the community is like playing this month and like having a good time and like there's different stuff going on. So we'll see. I just want to get a lot of games in and have a good time. Um, we'll keep going down, I guess. I'm gonna find that cat. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. There's no more rooms here, right? No. There you are. Oh, and you said um, head to head comp or best score wins. Here, let me show you guys the leaderboards. Score isn't really a good measure of skill in that hack at all. There might be a high score one, but there's also a low score, which is even like low scores are like mean you're better at the game usually. So that means you play through faster with less resources generally. So here's the June net hack page. We got a, the player stats. Oh wait, these are actual players. Damn, Glord has a lot of uh, these guys have a lot of accounts. Um, results, player scoreboard. So I hack three six one, which is the current base uh, picture. You see, I stole that pick from Reddit today. Oh, this one. <laughs> I always go to the, the earth porn thing and, and take a photo to use as my background when I stream, if I'm showing my desktop. It's funny that you noticed that. Oh, earth porn must be on the front page, is it, or a default subreddit? That's funny. Oh, does it not show the scoreboards until someone ascended? Let me go to an old one. I think I did really well in 2016. I have like a whole folder of pictures I like from um, that subreddit that I use for backgrounds. Okay, so... Player scoreboard. So I think I did 343 this year. So there's most ascensions, longest ascension streak, fastest by turns, Fastest by wall clock time. Um, highest scoring, lowest scoring, and most conducts. And this 343 
board wasn't as competitive as the 360 board probably because this is the year 360 came out but i had never played 360 so i did 343 instead when i played i actually only played three games this was two years ago um i only played three games this year because i started like two weeks late i wasn't going to participate and then i saw how like available the leaderboards were so i was like let me play some games and like try and do the leaderboards so i actually tied for most 343 ascensions i had the longest ascension streak i won all three of my games i played um i got the fastest just under 13k i didn't do fastest wall clock i didn't get the highest scoring i got the lowest scoring ascension and i got the this game i was actually going for a seven conduct monk and I had the amulet, and I was about to finish the game, and I started getting stoned by a cockatrice. So I instinctively ate my lizard corpse, which is one way to cure stoning from a cockatrice. And I, I lost vegan and vegetarian right there, so it dropped to a 5 conduct ascension, like, in the last couple thousand turns. <laughs> which was really, really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, actually, my... Uh, my stats in these leaderboards here would have been pretty competitive on the 360 boards too. I would have gotten Ascension or Ascension Streak. But I still beat the fastest turns. I guess just turns in conduct I would have done for number one. But yeah, that's just an idea of like what, what you get. And big part of Junet Hack is that it it's a tournament that involves all variants. Um, so it encourages like different variant play and there's like trophies you can get for like playing in multiple variants and stuff. So let me just find like the trophy scoreboard. So here's all these cross variant ones. Ascend all variants, ascend half variants, defeat Medusa in all variants. So stuff like that. And then there's clan play. That page is broken or something. Um, results, clan scoreboard. So, um, yeah, my clan is in last place in the first hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, most ascended variant role, race, alignment, gender combinations, uh, most unique deaths, most ascensions in a 24 hour period, uh, most variant slash trophy combinations, uh, most Medusa kills, and most games with all conducts broken. So I'm actually going to like hurt my clan by ascending with conducts intact. Um, so some of these are kind of silly. They're, they're not meant to be for like fantastic players. Um, they're kind of intended for like anyone to be able to play and participate no matter what your skill level is. But yeah, that's um, that's Hack in a nutshell. Yeah, here's that, uh, that image I stole. It's not stealing, they're all uh, open source. All right, where'd my game go? All right, but uh, let's continue. I have another 45 minutes before I should to play before I should probably get to sleep. I'm going to play for a long time tomorrow and this weekend. Actually, I, I've had like a rough three weeks at work. So I was like wishing I could take some time off, but I didn't want to like take a whole day off like without any notice. So instead, I just decided to take. Let's see what this gem is. It's spiders. Those spiders are always generated on spider webs. So I knew that was there. So instead, I just told them I'm I'm taking off two early, two hours early tomorrow. So I'm gonna just dip out of work and probably come home and play net hack. So I'll be here starting. Um, that means I'll probably start streaming around five o'clock Eastern or something. Let's see. Let me eat uh, some of these food rations. Heck yeah, I normally don't start streaming until around 8 o'clock. But I'll stream from like 
Five till midnight or something. Maybe six, we'll see when I actually start. So that's a great ooze. Is there, how bad is their passive again? 2d8. Their speed one, that's so slow. Base speed is 12. Where are my rocks at? T. Oh, it moved. It oozed under the door. I don't want to take the passive damage, so I'm just going to throw stuff at it. Oh, that's so weird seeing projectile items sitting on top of a door. Take that ooze. We'll probably be coming up on the Oracle level soon. Oh, a cave spider. What are you doing? I'm gonna keep looking at my conducts to make sure I don't accidentally break them. Since I keep being tempted to do things that I'm, I can't do. Like eat a cave spider corpse. The Uruk High drinks a ruby potion. It's on a strange transparency. So Monk start with C invisible. Um, he just drank a potion of invisibility. And did that auto identify? It probably did. It did, so I don't have to keep track of that. Um, I'm just gonna smash these guys up. I have poison resistance, so I'm not concerned about the arrows. Is that guy in a trap or something? No, I don't know why he wasn't moving. Um... So, let's see, an Orcish Helm. A shield would be nice, so I'm gonna take all of those. Actually, heck, I should check the cloak too. If that's like a plus four, plus five cloak, I would definitely end up um, equipping it. Holy shit, Lux already got the Orb of Fate. I think he was playing a Valkyrie too. He, he's Lux of Dream is someone in my clan. He's a pretty impressive player. Um, he's ascended in around two hours before. Holy shit, he's playing fast. He might ascend <laughs> by the time I end the stream. That's he's at the castle right now and about to do Gehenna. That's that's wild. You want to pull his up in the background? We can watch him. Um... Oh my god. Why is his screen so messed up? What is he playing? Oh, he's playing Dynahack. I don't know why these characters aren't rendering in my... You can like toggle the, the translation or something and fix that. That's weird. I guess I can't watch him. It probably would have been too much... going on. That looks nice, I know, right? <laughs> Short sword, another orcish helm, tripe ration, arrows. Let's go have my pets first test this stuff. If I can find them. Oh, there's one. I should have ran past them. Where'd he go? I'm 
I'm really curious about the shields, because I'll probably wear them. I doubt the rest of the stuff will end up being an upgrade. Both of these shields are uncursed. Or non-cursed, they might be blessed too. Oops. I named every Uruk, Uruk High Shield that. You can name items as a class or individually. Wait, did I not pick up the other one? Small shield right there. Plus zero. Plus zero. I think the small shield's probably lighter. I can't do staggering blows. Alright, cool. Take it easy, uh, Icebox, and thank you for hanging out. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting month for uh, NetHack. The Orakai, weight 50, AC1. Small shield is weight 30, AC1. So y'all stick with the small shield. Mittens of Kittens with the Fat Hosts. Uh, thank you very much, Mittens. Um, big shout out to Mittens. To all the new viewers, we are playing NetHack. Um, the June NetHack is an annual NetHack tournament that runs for the entire month of June. It just started about an hour ago. And I'm playing a nine conduct um, human monk. Um, this is a roguelike. And let me just pop you guys a... Uh, that first link that Nightbot just posted is a quick primer on NetHack. And if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask or ask um, anyone chat can probably talk to you guys as well. Um, but yeah, we're just having a chill stream here. So feel free to hang out and stick around. And uh, thanks again, Mittens. Um, any of the, my viewers that were hanging out, um, Mittens is a great streamer. Go check her out. But yeah, thanks again. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this uh, small shield and drop the Orakai shield, because it's lighter. I think my pet stepped on... Okay, so all these items are uncursed, so I'm going to try them all on. I doubt any of these helms are going to be better. But you don't know until you try them, and some sometimes you find some like highly enchanted stuff, so... What about this cloak? Nothing there. Okay, so no enchantments, but it's always worth trying things on. Let me just ditch all that stuff. I could actually go up and sell that at the armor store, but I'm not gonna bother. It wouldn't be that much. About to watch some owl. All right, have fun. Probably some good matches on. I might uh, I might have to put some on later. But yeah, thanks again, Mittens. You hear noises in the distance. My one of my pets is fighting something. I wonder what they're fighting. I don't feel like walking all the way back there, so. Oh, I, I, I have faith that my pets will be able to deal with whatever it is. I feel like there's probably a room, a hidden door here. I can't find one, so I'm not going to bother. I already know where the downstairs is. Is that new? No, that was a cave spider. Where my pets were fighting? A rock. I'll take that in case I need to throw rocks at anyone. And let's continue down. Um, we're probably going to find the oracle level soon. Let me get my pets to follow me. Well, this isn't the oracle level. I know that for sure. Let me go find that, that cat as well.
Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Where are you? Did she come this way at all? Maybe she's over here. There you are. Where are you hiding out there? Come with me. Oh my god. Oh, there you are. It could be a pain sometimes to get your pets to follow you. But it's still a lot better than it was in previous versions. So I'm going to head over to the left, since at the very least there's a potion there. Always follow the loot. Ooh, another one of these scrolls. I really hope this turns out um, to be enchant armor. Honestly, I should just start like reading these. Because who cares if I waste a food detection scroll? If I can determine that they're not um, cursed, then like there's no harm in reading them. Although it looks like I have one cursed, one blessed, and one uncursed. Hmm. I don't know what I would enchant though, either my gloves or my helmet. So I could get at least plus two AC. I'm gonna do that. So if I can get my pets... There you are, circling around like that. So I'm, I'm gonna curse test these. Again, um, if a pet steps onto an item and it doesn't do it reluctantly, then you know that it's uncursed or blessed. So that one, oh crap, which one did I just pick up? Cobate one. What is this Abra one? So name, uh, I know this is not cursed. That one's not cursed, the one that the dog just picked up. And these two are probably cursed, because they, they're probably the ones I found on the bones file, which the majority of the items you find there are cursed. So yeah, we know this for a fact is cursed. I'm just going to assume this one is. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to go enchant something. Got some zombies to deal with first. Bunch of zombies. Sweet, I leveled up. Welcome to level 6. 43 HP, getting up there. I'm gonna go up here and take off my armor. Actually, let me go down here. And I will I will undress so I can enchant stuff. Hey, what's up, Nop? How's it going? Help? Are you okay? No, I'm just kidding. I know that was just a greeting. So I I, I want to enchant either my leather gloves or my orcish helm. Because those are probably the two items that I'll hold on to for the longest amount of time. So how about... Let's do the orcish helm. Because none of the magical helms I really care about. Although I guess the downside is that that's a metal helmet. Man, that's a tough one. The thing with the leather gloves is if I find magic gloves, I might swap them out right away. Hmm. I mean, how much valuable magic are we going to get right away? Let's just do the orcish helm for now. Trying to eventually get some sleep. Um... You could uh, sleep to the smooth sounds of the Tone live stream. I have met a few people have done that. I don't know if it's my voice or the music that, that I play. Hopefully it's not the content. 
but yeah, feel free to hang out and uh, enjoy your sleep once it comes. So I'm gonna take off all my armor and read one of these scrolls and hope that it is enchant armor. It'll randomly enchant one piece of armor you're wearing, so you want to take off everything except for the piece of armor that you want to enchant. So I'm gonna go with this Orcish Helm. And this could just be food detection too, so let's see what happens. Hey, my helmet glows for a moment, so that is indeed enchant armor. And let's read the other one. So that's plus one AC from that. A plus five Orcish Helm. We got three more points out of that blessed one. So we just got an additional four AC from those two scrolls. That is a that is awesome. So we should be down to like negative five, I think. If that is the case, we are in good shape, guys. All right, let's put um this robe back on. Put those gloves back on. Get everything else back on. Those iron shoes and the shield. Yeah, negative five AC. Not bad at all. Uh, I think we we just broke illiterate doing that, but everything else seems to be intact. So we are we're doing good. I'm actually really stoked about that. That was a nice find for us. I just gotta get my pets to follow me back downstairs. What the heck are these guys doing? Come with me. I think I need to like let them follow me a little closer before walking away, especially in the corridors. Because what happens if is pets don't like backtracking on the same tile? Because then they might just like walk back and forth on the same tile a lot. Oh come on, now I can't get this guy to like back off of me. Oh he's stuck in the web. That's one way to have the pet not come down. But what would happen... So, so yeah, they don't want pets walking back and forth. And this is like monsters in general, because it like leads to like unnatural behavior and like weird behavior, movement wise. So there's there's actually a reluctancy where they won't walk in the same tile like twice in a row very frequently. There's a chance it happens. But the problem with pets is most pets are faster than you that you start with. So if they're walking or following you down a corridor, they'll bump into you and then turn around just because they're faster than you and they have nowhere else to go. And then they won't turn around again to come back to you because they don't want to backtrack. So how they fix that in 361, I believe, is if they're within a certain radius of you, then they then they won't follow that rule and they'll backtrack just to like stay glued to you, basically. I will eat another food ration. Ooh, a gnomish wizard. Let's go kill that. You can't run. Gnomish Wizards are pretty weak spellcasters, if you didn't notice. A uh, wolf. Not too problematic. Oops. I knew that was a falling rock trap, and I walked there anyways, and then I displaced my pet onto it. I should avoid doing stupid things like that. Potion of Sickness. Oh, you know what I should do is put all of my potions and scrolls in my sack. so that they're protected from inventory damage. Certain traps and like monster attacks will burn or dilute potions and scrolls. But if you have them in a container, like a like a bag, that won't happen. Let's see. I did a little bit of searching for secret doors on that left wall there. Um, I didn't seem to find any. I'm kind of curious, maybe this wall. Nope, none that I'm searching. Uh oh, it's a giant beetle, I think. Okay, giant beetle shouldn't be too bad. 
Ooh, I can level up my martial arts skill. Since I'm going weaponless, there's not much else to level up. Except for that and spells. Hear some noises in the distance, that means my pets are fighting things. I want in on that fun. Ooh, we got some hill orcs. They spawn in swarms, so there's probably many more where that came from. Hmm. Ruined items. There's probably a hobbit or an elf of some sort. You never finished a conduct run? Um, I've done a few conduct games. Nothing too intense like this one. It's usually not something I care about or bother with, but um, some people viewing the in the in the chat on my last game told me to try a few conducts, so I did a five conduct wizard just on a whim. Like in the middle of the game, they basically told me, "Hey, look at your conducts. What other conducts you haven't broken yet? Do all of those." And that's what I did. Oh shit, a unicorn. I bet you my large cat could fight this thing. They're pretty dangerous though, and that could probably kill me alone. So let me see if I can get my, my cat over here. They try to stay a, a knight's move away. So it probably won't come adjacent to me if I don't force it. Did that run work out? Yeah, it did. It worked out pretty well. Um, I never got a bag of holding, which is something rare for me. That's the first time I've ever done a game without a bag of holding, but it was wishless, um, poly selfless, poly itemless. And wishless, poly itemless is a, a hard combo. Oh, he teleported away because I put him in a tight spot. Um, and it was also genocideless, and what else was it? There was one more. Ooh, plus one constitution, not bad. What else was it? Um, Gino, both polys. Oh, artifact, wishless, and wishless. That's what it was. I forgot wishless basically counts for two. That newt, or what was that, a gecko? No, it was a newt. Where'd that unicorn go? There's definitely some rooms here I haven't found yet either, so there's some hidden doors. Oh shit! I try fighting it? It's getting dangerous! I'm gonna back up. Let's see if my cat will fight it. That's kind of ballsy. Oh shit, why'd I walk under the trap? Oh, the, the unicorn teleported on the trap and it killed it. That's so good. <laughs> it's a good thing I did walk under that trap because I didn't realize the unicorn horn was lying there. I knew what I was doing the whole time. Oh, I have a hard helmet anyway, so it doesn't matter. Nice. Hey Lobster, um, I have not ascended yet. Um, Skunks Jr. Um, that's a cat I found on some guy's bones and his name was Skunks. So I had to honor him in some way. So I, I named his cat Skunks Jr. and then his cat went and ate his corpse. Yeah, cats are not loyal um, pets. Let me tell you that. We got a unicorn horn, that's a pretty nice uh, find. We're still maintaining all of our conducts. Let me cast this healing spell. Guess I can. That was actually pretty handy.
You hear noises in the distance? Did I lose my dog? Ooh, a fire ant. Nothing to fear yet. Monks are pretty strong in the early game, but like in the mid game, things start getting tough because they don't have good weapons. There's gotta be like a door here somewhere. Not there. Oh, come on. No, oh, nice. One hit kill. Oops. Searching for tra- or hidden doors. Is weaponless a conduct? Uh, yes it is. Um, and it's only melee weapons, you can use ranged weapons. So um, the third one on that list, you have never hit with a wielded weapon. So I'm doing, right now I'm doing weaponless, um, vegan, vegetarian, atheist, genocideless, poly itemless, poly selfless, wishless, and already wishless. That's my goal. So I've broken everything except for the ones that I'm, I'm going to maintain. Yeah, false lobster. Um, using using like throwing daggers and stuff is actually a really powerful way to do weaponless. I haven't seen my dog in a while. I'm gonna assume he died and just keep this cat. Poor Jimmy. This is probably the Oracle level. A long sword. I'm just gonna take that so a monster doesn't. Grizz the Plat Man. How you doing, man? Welcome back to the stream. I hope those tombstones were for poor Jimmy the, the little dog. Eating a chicken bowl. Nice. Homemade? So yes, this is definitely the Oracle level. He's old Naga Hatchling. Oh, made nice. A dark and stormy, nice. Had to go to your way to get some uh, ginger beer. Make some nice cocktails. I respect that. Chicken bowl is usually chicken and rice and then other stuff. Lobster, as far as I'm concerned. I guess it's technically a chicken and rice bowl. We get these food trucks at my office that come twice a week and almost every food truck is the same. They all have a chicken and rice bowl. They all do some kind of taco, usually like a quesadilla. It's so boring. And they're pretty much all like, um, like Latin like varieties. That's freaking bullcrap. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm gonna eat a food ration. There, there have got to be more rooms here. I wonder what my pet was just fighting. Gotta have that rice. There's a jackal somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna... Should I try kicking? I think that's just a dead end. You hear chugging sound? Oh, that was probably a gnome drinking a potion to gain level. Because I doubt gnome kings can spawn this early. 
And he dropped a food ration. We have a Moroccan food truck that comes sometimes. Haven't had it yet. I just like the barbecue food truck. That's the only one I really do. It's called like Big Bear or Black Bear Barbecue or something. They have like 14 barbecue sauces to choose from. Maybe I should check out these other doors before looking for new ones. You hear a strange wind. Who farted? A level teleport trap. That's not what I wanted to find. Oh, fuck. Well, at least I can get to the stairs. This is a scary place to level port to. This is the big room. It's a room full of monsters, and you just get swarmed by them. You are here, a very big room. Anything notable here? Um, you know what the one upside to fighting this by accident right now is? Is that all these monsters are really low level. If I came back here later when I normally would have, um, it would have been a lot more dangerous with a lot of higher level monsters. So that's the bright side. Yeah, let's just run to the upstairs. Oh my god. I stepped on a sleeping trap. It's a good thing I have sleep resistance, otherwise that would have been bad news. Alright, so let's just go back up the freaking stairs. Let me annotate this level. So I know the big room's down there. A horse! Oh, I got rid of all my apples. Do you think horses like... oranges? I think they do. Hey, I got a new friend. We shall call you Snake. Because I'm a fan of Thomas Pynchon. Um, I'm gonna take this lockpick because I know it's not cursed. Tools are never generated cursed. And the one I have I got from a bones file, so it probably is cursed. That's a little upgrade there. I need to go back up. I am in a, a dark, scary, out of death place, and I don't like it. I don't know where that shock sphere went. There he is. I'm gonna try and hunt it. Oh, there it is. Did he kill it? I think he did. Good horse. He lived to tell the tale. Really attack the bat? I guess not. You better get out of my way though. Hey, a light source. Oh no, it's a bell. Ugh. What a tease. All the other yellow tools are, are light sources. I would have been really excited for a light source because all these rooms are dark and I want to go to the mines that are dark. You hear someone counting money. That means there's a vault here. I'm not even going to mark it. Alright, let's go collect my horse. And let's just go upstairs. Okay. So I am one level away from where I got teleported at.
This is either Sokoban or the floor above. Hey, we found Sokoban. Oh man, it's getting late. I should uh I should make a drink myself, Grizz. I just bought a bottle of uh bullet bourbon. I think I'll just have a glass of wine today, though. Scrolls are heavy. Oh, I forgot I grabbed this wand. I should see what that is. Let's see, I can drop a lot of stuff here. Maybe not a lot, but... Um... Let's ditch. I don't want to leave this longsword lying around. In case a monster picks it up. So I'm going to drop it downstairs real quick. I'll ditch the longsword. Um, I can just drop these water walking boots. I'm, like, I'm not going to need those right away. I don't need the unlabeled scrolls. I really don't need the bell. The tin opener. Any of the gems, or I can drop these rocks too. Why was I carrying around a bunch of glass? Alright, and then let's keep wandering around. So that was Sokoban over there. There's probably another room on the right, but I'm going to, since I'm over here already, check out the left. Or I'll just see what this door is. A large box. Cash register. We got another store, guys. Hopefully. This box just had 11 gold pieces in it. Large boxes are supposed to have more loot. That was one of the 361 changes, is large boxes and chests actually have more loot than small boxes. Another longsword? I just got rid of one. Here, hang on one sec, guys. Alright, I'm back. I actually never left. I just went to my kitchen, which is adjacent to my desk. Let's see, there is probably a hidden door somewhere. Ooh, an iron piercer. I just found that while I was searching for a door. They're really slow. I'm gonna let this thing move into me. Actually, I guess I should... Why not? Look how freaking slow they are. Let me name these darts ammo, because I have an auto pickup exception for anything that's named ammo. Which means I will pick them up off the ground automatically. Hmm, maybe it's in this other room? Aha! Oh my god. Oh, it's just a closet! Here's another one. It connects to the room I found already. Come on. Where are you at, secret door? Maybe there's one on the right? I think there's room for a, a shop on the bottom right. Eat. Let's have another food ration. Let's 
got to be here, right? There's still an upstairs I haven't found either. I don't know what to say, guys. I can't find it. My character is not very uh, alert. Whoops. Be careful about punching those things. Put my money... What did he kill? Oh, he picked up the great use. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Is test this wand. Aluminum vanish. That's either cancellation, invisibility, or create monster. Or why did I say create monster or teleport? What was that? A black unicorn. I should kill this floating eye before I bump into it. Oh my god, he didn't get frozen. Best horse ever. Nice, he's dead. Zap tested on floating eye. Oh yeah, it's always a good strategy, isn't it, Lobster? Although it's teleport, I'd probably teleport him into a hallway and bump into him, so it's probably a good thing I don't do that. I was looking for a monster to zap test it with, though. I'm not gonna do it with the Leprechaun, because those things are wily. See if these boots are any good. Final boots. I'll stick with these for the extra AC. A Roth. Uh, looks like a teleport wand. Definitely is. Are you going Jaguar? I guess he ran away. Why can't I find this door? Snake the horse? I named him after a horse in Gravity's Rainbow. Is that testing your horse? That's true. I shouldn't fuck around with that unicorn. Things are strong. Oh, I should heal up my, my horse. Snake looks better. Oh my god. This stupid freaking unicorn. Take that. Level me up. Get me some warning. 50 health, guys. Duan Zanat. That is ostensibly Create Monster. Thank you, warning. Whoa! That was a fast Yeti. A 
The Yetis are a pain in the ass. Um, I'm gonna engrave Elberth here just to get this thing off of me. I didn't want to fight the Yeti and the Tengu at the same time. I'm actually... Those Yetis can pack a punch. I'm gonna pre-engrave Elbereth. There we go. It can be killed rather easily. If you have got like, decent melee capabilities. But they're one of those monsters that can like, hit pretty damn hard. I don't know what's behind it. Dwarf mommy in a closet. I'll take that mummy wrapping. Oh, Mr. Jaguar. So sometimes you can figure out where the corridors are. With warning. That, that's probably the shopkeeper up there. Actually, no, he wouldn't be a red one. Ooh, a barrel white? Stunned? It can be a pain sometimes. With their magic and their longsword. Oh my god, why can't I find anything? Ooh, cockatrice. Maybe we'll kill the shopkeeper. Shuriken! I can actually get basic in Shuriken. There we go. See, just follow the one. Ooh, uh, Grown up red naga. Oh shit, a nymph. Yes, just smile seductively at my horse. As long as you don't look at me like that. Golden 150, Nymph Drop. So that means that is almost certainly a potion of object detection. Close for what? I can't read that. I'm just gonna unlock this door and see what's behind it. There's a ton of shit in here. This guy's this guy's having a party. Don't throw gems at me. I hope none of these gnomes picked up like any good wands or anything. Nice, I think they stole some of the stuff. Ooh, a candle. At least we have something. Candy bar, some food rations, and actually I'll take all the weapons just to sell. So let's drop, oh yeah, let's drop all these weapons. Sling, daggers, knife, axe, two long swords, and the low boots. Not bad.
There's no mimics in here. All right, let's pick up everything here that we can identify. Clear potion there. That is definitely a set. Uh, almost called a snack. No, it's a sack. So I'll take that question mark off. Samurai sword. You don't find those too often. All right, what do we have here then? Um, the scroll is enchant weapon. Not very useful to a weaponless character. This one is valued at 300, which means it's a pretty good scroll. Could be genocide. I'm playing genoless though. For reverse geno, it'd be very valuable. What else did I have? Oh, the ring? Let's see if that's cursed or not, I might put it on. Um, what else do we have? The glass wand. I don't think that's a particularly great class of wands. Um, I guess it's got a little bit of everything in it. But nothing amazing. Digging would be nice. That would be the one I would want most. This is uncursed. And close that door. And take off my robe. The shopkeeper's probably like, what is this guy doing? I'm coming on to him or something. I put this Ring on real quick. No obvious effect. Let me take it off before it does something bad. All right, and I should price ident- Okay, so let me drop everything unpaid. I should come back and find out what that 300 scroll is later, but until then, shall wait. And then let me... Basically take everything out of my bag. See what it is. Don't GG me, Draculaus. I should come down here and test all those spell books. Let's see. So it just reaffirms that this is in fact a teleport scroll like I suspected. I know basically with 100% chance that it's a teleport scroll. I don't know why I'm so paranoid about it. Um, 40, so that has to be worth 80 because you can't get that 25% reduction in and up there. So this, my friends, is remove curse, which is going to be very valuable for us because we don't have a source of holy water because we're playing atheist so we're gonna have to use the confusion effect from the remove curse scroll to create holy water 
Hopefully it's blessed. Although I don't know how I'm going to find out if it's blessed or not, because I can't drop it on an altar without breaking Atheist Conduct either. I'm going to put my robe back on. That, uh, the shopkeeper is getting a little, uh, nervous over there with me disrobed. Let's, um... I didn't want to drop both of them. 25, that's a scroll of light. Velox, 100 value. Is either level three or four? That's a three hundred value potion. That means it's something good. Okay, cool. I'll sell this extra unicorn horn as well. Because I'm not going to need it. But if it's just highly concentrated juice, then I'm really going to regret selling that. Because I am parched. Alright. I guess we can uh, move on like that. I don't think I... Oh, I want to buy that... I mean, I wouldn't mind stealing this scroll. Where do you go? Mirror horse. That's fine, I'm not gonna force it. You don't have to steal it, it just would have been nice. Do I still not know where the upstairs is? It must be under something. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it was under that leprechaun statue that whole time. Get that horse in there and wait, scum? Nah, I don't want to do that. And the, the horse does have a name. Its name is Snake. Oh my god, I have eight food rations? I don't even need to go to Sogobon anymore. I can pick up a statue of a leprechaun without getting burdened? What a badass. I wonder if my pets still love me. If they don't, it's, it's cool. I found a new pet. Crush some zombies. Uh-oh, werewolf. A little more careful around that. I don't want to catch catch the fever. Quick. Kill him always a human. Skunks Jr., you still love me! Peaceful monkey. Yeah, they all say they're peaceful. So you turn your back. Combat boots? Hey, drop that. Those are probably something good. Because I found a lot of bad boots already. Hmm. 
They're either fumbling or kicking. Why is my warning working from so far away? I don't know, is that not normal? I guess it's normal. Look at this range. It's huge. All right. Well, I don't know what these combat boots are. I was hoping they might be fumbling. Let's keep it on just in case. They're gonna wreck that monkey. Maybe these are kicking boots? Peaceful dog. I was worried that that might be my, my dog Jimmy. One more room over here. So weird quirk about the Oracle room is that it always has five rooms, not counting the Oracle room. Dude, another freaking unicorn? Getting sick of these things. Guess I'll take the lizard corpse. I can't actually eat it because I'm vegan. Okay, I can't seem to find the last room, but you know what? I don't really care. Dude, I have so many food rations, I can't even carry them all. Wait, so what can these combat boots be? Let's narrow this down, guys. Oh, maybe they're elven. They're either elven, kicking... That's it. So I can't jump, right? You like how after mastering 361 on day one, you still explain the little things? Yeah, I mean, I don't know the experience of people in chat. I just try to explain things when I can. Right, let's drop a bunch of stuff because I am burdened. I want to go up and find those other books. Plus seven kicking boots. That would be something, huh? Yeah, I'd be kicking things left and right. They, they do add a bonus um, to your martial arts, don't they? If you kick with them. Let's see. Let's go and find those other books real quick. I wanna take them to that general store and see what they are.
I don't need healing. We're gonna travel while burdened. I think we will. Feel worried about Snake? He's probably fighting that, uh. Whatchamacallit? That unicorn? The Leocrata turns into a large cat. That ain't good. Let's drop some shit. Oh, I don't have my shoes on. If you're gonna die, die with your boots on. Um. Trouble. Oh, fuck me. A fucking Winter Wolf? Did you get shy tone and get rid of your webcam? No, but I archive my net nethack streams to YouTube, and I feel like on YouTube, um, the format is better without a webcam. So, I don't really, I, I just stopped, but I don't really do it when I do nethack anymore. And the same thing for like some other roguelikes, just kinda, I like the, like I've been doing Caves of Cud without it too. So I don't think this Winter Wolf will, will breathe frost at me if I'm standing right next to it. So let me just hope I punch it to death. Okay, sweet. That worked. That was really scary. Winter wolves have a breath attack. 2d6 cold. I guess that's only as bad as their bite. They can be pretty nasty. Have you missed any CUD? No, I haven't played CUD since that last game where I lost horribly to what seemed to be like an almost like endgame monster. That game is so much fun though, I'll definitely be playing more CUD. I'll have to mix it in during a uh, June NetHack um, to get like a break from NetHack at some point. Honestly, for, for whatever reason, Cud was just like a lot of fun playing that. I like that game a lot. wonder if I drop all my food rations, it'll be unburdened. Heck yeah, it will be. Heck, let me just take like two of these with me. Nice. Um, let me put all my scrolls and potions in my bag. Oh, you fucking... Ah, oh, you dumb horse. You can't eat all my food rations. Fine, I'm taking them all with me. Oh, what an asshole. Can't just be passing out food rations. I mean, I'm a... I'm a vegan. It's not like I can just eat, like, anything. Case of Cut has that Elder Scrolls feeling of exploration. Yeah, it's a good way to describe it. Vegan with a vegan pet, GG. I know, right? <laughs> right? Let's see what these books are. There's a level one. Well, what? Which one of these is level four? I can probably narrow this down pretty pretty well. Um, cause fear, knock, or restorability. I think restorability is probably level four one. Not spell. That's level four. Knock is level one. Cause fear is level one. Three. This is just restore ability. I'm just gonna say level four just so I know. Hmm. 
Yeah, Drac, I read in the Discord earlier that it's still getting updated like every week. Is it is cut in like active development right now? So this is not level one. Just to confirm. Yep, this is cause fear. Oh, every Friday, it's like a a set thing, huh? All right, let's see. Um, let me pull up the spellbook reading spoiler, and because I can probably read some of these spellbooks without any penalty. List of NetHack spoilers. Chances of successfully reading a spell book. My intelligence is 12. I'm level eight. Damn, we got a, we've been leveling up guys. I can't even read a level 1 spellbook with 100% chance, so I'm not going to touch any of these unless I know they're um, blessed. Which probably isn't going to happen until I get like a stack of blessed water, because I'm not going to identify them. And I'm playing Atheist, so I can't drop them on an altar and maintain my conduct. Honestly, cause fear, knock, restore ability. Who cares? If I could find like a spellbook of sleep, I'd be stoked. Um, this is all garbage, so I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna drop in this corner too where no one even has to look at him. Restorability? Hey guys, I've got a unicorn horn. Oh. Bring that scroll to me. Who picked it up? Snake. Heck yeah, we got our 300 scroll. How did you identify those? The spell books? Um, I found them in a bones file, and I exploited um, the death logs, we'll say. So I, I knew that the, the corpse had three books on him, so I knew it was one of those three books. Cheats? Kind of. It's not cheating if everyone in the tournament can do it, is it? Alright, let's go to Sokoban. What is this? Dog? Quite the large dog. Dude, we got... Well, negative 3 AC. I gotta put my boots back on. There we go. Negative 5 AC, 63 health. Not too shabby. Uh, an assumed wand of teleportation. Two decent items. We're not we're not doing too bad, guys. Centaur, he's probably peaceful. Yep. Sokoban. Um. Jeez, guys, let's uh let's call it quit uh, quits here.